you know, he, he's one of these young guys who, who um, has a lot of, let's just say, breathing or nasal resistance and, and upper airway collapsibility during sleep. Now, he is young. So uh, sometimes that's hard to capture, even just with a routine sleep study. Um, but he spent so much effort keeping his airway open uh, overnight. So his main complaint is just this unrecoverable fatigue uh, the next day. And that really affects, you know, a young person's neurocognitive, uh, you know, functioning. Now, of course, if we let this go down the road, he's going to have metabolic sim uh, syndrome, cardiovascular comorbidities, all the bad stuff we know about sleep apnea. So, you know, um, Dr. Zaghi, you know, who uh, trained with us here, you know, was very sensitive and he realized that, that he, you know, the patient was going down the wrong trajectory. Um, and this was absolutely the best time to intervene. He's young, he's going to bounce back, um, and we expect the full recovery uh, from his sleep apnea. But anyway, the goal today then is to rotate it out and to fixate this in such a position that this will, you know, it'll be a lot more stable. So when we're done with him today, he won't have that shift, he won't have that dip, but it'll be stable. My name is Stanley Liu. I'm an assistant professor uh, in the Division of Sleep Surgery in the Department of Olaryngology uh, here at Stanford. I, I do the full scope uh, of sleep apnea surgery. I uh, did my undergrad here at Stanford. I did both my dental and medical training at UCSF. Finished a maxillofacial surgery residency at UCSF, followed by a sleep surgery uh, fellowship uh, with Dr. Uh, Riley and also the Stanford uh, Olaryngology Department. Uh, and this is my third year uh, as full-time faculty here. Uh, very smooth. It's never easy. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, every step was methodical. Um, I will say that any time uh, you move the facial skeleton, uh, you will affect uh, the bite, which is the functional occlusion, breathing, uh, so airway issues right, during awake or asleep, uh, and then beauty, the, the facial aesthetics. So. While our primary indication for him today was to improve the stability of his airway, we have to be very, very careful uh, in also managing his bite uh, and his beauty, the overall facial aesthetics. Uh, he happens to have an open bite, so we were able to correct that in the same operation. Um, and uh, we made sure that his post-operative nasal appearance, the mid-facial appearance, and then everything is actually, uh, you know, harmonious as well.